Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, a bakery sells hollow chocolate spheres. The larger diameter of each sphere is four centimeters. Because the diameter is four centimeters, that tells us the radius is two centimeters. The thickness of the chocolate of each sphere is 0.5 centimeters. Determine and state to the nearest tenth of a cubic centimeter the amount of chocolate in each hollow sphere. So in order to illustrate this, I'm just going to draw two circles right, on our page. When we have a sphere, the cross section is a circle, right? So what's happening is we have an inner sphere and an outer sphere. Okay. The larger diameter is four centimeters, which means our large radius is two centimeters. Okay. The thickness of the chocolate is 0.5. So the thickness or the difference between the outer sphere and the inner sphere is 0.5 centimeters. Okay. Since the whole radius of the larger one is 2 and the thickness of the chocolate is 0.5, then what that tells us is the radius of our smaller sphere is 1.5 centimeters. We're going to use that in order to figure out the amount of chocolate in each hollow sphere. Okay. In order to do that, we're going to figure out the volume of the outer sphere, the volume of the inner sphere, and then we can subtract the two to figure out the amount of chocolate. So first, right, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let's go ahead and find the volume of the outer one. So that's 4 thirds pi, and the outer or the larger radius is 2 cubed, right? which gives us 4 thirds pi times 8, which is 32 pi over 3. For the inner sphere, okay, the inner sphere has a radius of 1.5, so the volume is 4 thirds pi times 1.5 cubed, which simplifies down to 9 pi over 2. So the question is to determine the amount of chocolate in each hollow sphere. And the amount of chocolate right, is the amount of the outer, right, the volume of the outer sphere, minus the inner sphere. So that's 32 pi over 3 minus 9 pi over 2, which when we plug that into the calculator is approximately 19.4 cubic centimeters. So that's the amount of chocolate that's in the hollow sphere. The second question is the bakery packages eight of them in a box. If the density of the chocolate is 1.308 grams per cubic centimeter, Determine to the nearest gram the total mass of the chocolate in the box. So we do need a formula here. Mass is density times volume. Okay. We're given that each of the spheres has a density of 1.308 grams per cubic centimeter. And we just found on the first part the volume of each sphere to be 19.4 cubic centimeters of chocolate. So this is going to give us the mass of one sphere. What we want to know is the total mass of the chocolate in the box. So because there's eight in each box, we're going to have to multiply that by eight to give us the total, which is approximately 203 grams in each box.